Alright, we're back ladies and gentlemen. So we just did nominal GDP. Now we're going to show you how to do real GDP. Uh, and a lot of times in class, if you remember when I did this, I'd say, okay, come in and give me the real GDP for year two. Go. And some of you would sit there and you'd go to work and you'd be work, 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 work. And then some of you would think, wait a second, I can't figure out the real GDP in year two if you just tell me to do it. Why not? Because you need a base year here. You need to know uh, what year is the base year because this year is going to tell you what price to use. Because in real GDP, we are keeping the prices constant. That way we can see without a doubt what is happening to our level of productivity, what's happening to our quantity numbers. Uh, so the base year for me, I'm going to make it number two. Now I showed you when we were just doing the hula hoops. Uh, what you want to do. So we want to keep the price constant, so we're going to use the same price. So I like to put a little box around the prices I'm going to use. So every time I calculate for my hula hoops, I'm using a price of three. Every time I calculate for my machetes, it's going to be 25. Right? Nunchucks, 20. Okay? Every time. So let's see. Um, I'm going to calculate the real GDP in year one. Alright? So here's what you got to do. In year one, how many nunchucks does that mean? Two. Uh, and the price I'm going to multiply by now is not 10. Do not do that. It's going to be 2 times 20. Uh, so I go 2 times 20. Then I got to add because I got some machetes. In year one, I made three machetes. Multiply by 25. Do not multiply by 5 here. So 3 times 25. And finally, my hula hoops, I made one of them. Three bucks is my price. One times three. Let's see here. I got 40 plus 75 plus three. Let's see if I do my math right. This is uh, 115. Is that right? 85, 95, 105, 115 plus three gives me 118. This equals real GDP year number one. Just that easy, just that quick. Uh, go ahead, see if you can do it for year two and year three, uh, because I'm going to have to give you the answers here uh, in this next video, because I'm going to do the GDP deflator here in just a second. Um, one final tip before I leave you. Some people get so screwed up with this. If you really wanted to, you could go through, you could cross out the 10 and put your 20 in. Cross out your 5, put your 25 in. Do it for all the ones, all the uh, prices, if you wanted to, uh, if that would help you.